Hi everyone, Jason from Makehara here with another Carvera tutorial. And in this one, we're creating a three axis relief through the example guide that comes with our Carvera. The example guidebook comes with every Carvera along with a sample pack of materials that can be used to complete these projects. The design files and bits are also included with your Carvera, so making these projects are an easy and satisfying way to get started with CNC production. Now, before we get started with these projects, it's important that we load our bits into the automatic tool changer in the order that corresponds with the design files prepared for these example projects. Specific Specifically for the three axis relief project we're looking at in this video, we will only be needing tools one and two, but this order can be utilized for all of the example project files. First, we must load the wireless Z probe into the charging holder. The 25 millimeter single flute bit should go into tool one. Our 30 degree 0.2 millimeter V bit should go into tool two. The 0.8 millimeter corn bit should go into tool three. The 12 millimeter single flute bit should go into tool four. For users with the optional PCB fabrication pack, the optional solder mask removal bit can go into tool five. And we will leave tool six open for the test probe, which is preloaded in the Carvera. Next, we need to load our stock. And we're gonna be using the 100 by 150 by 10 millimeter piece of epoxy tooling board as well as a piece of waste board, which is gonna be used to protect the bed of our Caravera as we plunge through the depth of our material. I first cut a piece of waste board to match the size of my stock and placed it under the piece of epoxy tooling board aligned with anchor position one in the lower left corner of the Carvera's bed. I then secured the stock as shown in the guidebook, placing a top clamp along the sides using machine screws. To prepare this job, we need to open the Carvera controller app and connect it to our Carveras. Within the file menu, there is an examples folder that includes all of the example files for the projects shown in the guidebook. There is only one file for the three axis relief, which is called Pirate Ship. Once open, we can preview the design and toolpaths before clicking config and run. We want to make sure that this file is aligned with anchor point one in the Carvera controller, just like our stock is aligned on anchor point one on the bed of the Carvera. We also want to enable scan margin. This trace is the perimeter of our design before cutting, and Auto Z Probe, which will set the height of our stock automatically. We do not need to use auto leveling as we'll be machining through the top surface for this particular project. Once set, click Run to start manufacturing. The overall manufacturing time for this project will be about two hours, and the Carvera will start by picking up the wireless Z Pro before it scans the perimeter of our part with the laser pointer. Check to make sure that no clamps are in the way or obstructing within this margin. The Carvera will then probe the point set within the controller to measure the height before switching to tool one automatically. For the three axis relief, the machine will start by roughing the stock using the 25 millimeter bit. The Carvera will then automatically switch to tool two and cut fine detail features of this design. It can sometimes be difficult to see what's happening as we're cutting so deeply into this soft stock, but again, you can monitor what's going on live using the feature in the controller app. Lastly, our machine will switch back to tool one to cut the outline through the stock. Once the manufacturing is complete, you can clean off the part using a brush or a vacuum to reveal this detailed design. After releasing the top clamps, you'll notice that the part is secured onto the stock using what we call tabs. Tabs stop the part from flying loose during manufacturing, and they can be carefully cut using the small handsaw included in the sample materials kit. And that's really all there is to it. This example project really showcases some of the detail that can be produced using the Carvera and is all around pretty simple to do only with needing a couple of tools and a single piece of stock. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future tutorials, guides, and project posts on the Makehara channel.